All right, this should be a quick one. This is a follow-up on a conversation I was having with somebody on YouTube, somebody by the name of Dark Star on YouTube, who um, was asking about why someone standing at the equator can see the same stars six months later. Um, so let's investigate. Very simple diagrams, hopefully easy to understand. The idea here is that here's the Earth, and it goes around the Sun. It takes a year to go around the Sun. So in six months, it goes halfway around, 180 degrees. So both of these images here, these little people standing, they represent someone standing on the Earth at spring at midnight and at fall at midnight. The night side is the opposite side from the sun. So these are as far on the opposite side as possible. So if both of these people, or this same person, say, six months later, were to look up at the sky, what would they see? This is the horizon line, the tangent to the circle, tangent to the sphere. Um, so this is the horizon for Mr. Spring. This is the region Mr. Spring can see. So these are the stars you can see in the spring. And here's the fall. Then the horizon. This is the region Mr. Fall can see. And it would appear from this diagram that there are no stars that they can both see at the same time. Mr. Fall sees over here. Mr. Spring sees over here. There's nothing that they can both see. But that's if they look at exact, the exact same time. They're both looking at midnight. What if they looked at some other time? So let's not forget that while the Earth is going around the sun, it takes a year to do that, every day the Earth also spins on its own axis, like this. So what if we don't look at midnight? Let's look at some other time. Let's say in the spring, We'll look up at 10 p.m. 10 p.m. looks approximately like this. Here's your new horizon, and these are the stars you can see. But in the fall, we'll look at 2 a.m., and this is the 2 a.m. horizon. So the whole point of this slide, this, the point of this diagram, is to show this overlapping region that at 10 p.m., you can see stars that six months ago were visible at 2 a.m. The morning stars of the fall can be the evening stars of the spring. So, if this is still bothering you, then I think what you need to do is go and look at some star charts and see what, what can we really see at the equator. So look at the spring equinox and the fall equinox and take a look at what stars are in the sky at those times on those days and check to see which stars are listed as visible at midnight in the spring equinox and the fall equinox from the equator and see are there any at all or perhaps are you confused that this overlap caused by looking at different times of the night is maybe what you were thinking of. Or perhaps you're not thinking of the equator at all. I mean, if you're not on the equator, then you can look up above. You know, if you're in the northern hemisphere, you can look up and see the northern sky anytime. Right. And if you're in the southern hemisphere, same thing for the southern sky. So if you're worried about this, Check your star charts and also confirm to make sure that you're not thinking of the northern hemisphere, you're not thinking of the southern hemisphere, and you're not thinking of this overlap in time. All right, there's a much better video on this uh, that I will recommend, something from Voice of Reason. So I'll put the link in, to his in the description. Um, yeah, I would, I'll, I would look at that and help you with this visualization. All right, and hit me up in the comments or whatever if you want to further discuss this.
Okay.